Well, we have a dog that's a mayor, and um, it has drawn so much national attention, international attention. Well, this is not the first dog mayor we've had in Rabbit Hash. A number of years ago, uh, Barbara Fallis, who's one of the locals in Rabbit Hash, got this idea to have an election to elect someone mayor. It's, it's not really an official town, so therefore it's not really an official mayor. A number of humans were running, and then she thought of nominating, actually it was Junior's father, Herb, but at the last, a dog named Goofy Borneman beat him out. And so Goofy served office until he was euthanized several years ago due to old age. So we didn't have a mayor for several years. And then uh, they did a movie called Rabbit Hash Center of the Universe, mostly about having a dog for mayor. So they decided to have another election. And for some reason this time, we really kind of wanted our dog to win. I'm not sure why. So we uh, collected money for him, and then we put in money ourselves. Just like a good Kentucky election, whoever um, buys the most votes wins. He ran against a pig, a donkey, other dogs, um, cats, and I think there were a few people in there. <laughs> and it was Junior. He won the election. So we ran it concurrently with this national election and we had voting day the very same day. You vote for the president at the general store and you came here to vote for the mayor of Rabbit Hash in the barn. And when you voted for the mayor of Rabbit Hash you could vote as many times as you want. And we didn't discourage liquor at the polls. You know, it was you didn't have to be within three hundred feet of of the polls if you're campaigning. I mean there were open bribes right here in the street. You know, vote for junior, vote for so it was, it was fun, and it was another good fundraiser, and uh, we raised a, another $9,000 for the uh, preservation efforts. And uh, now we have a black lab for Mayor who just finished a TV show for, for the animal planet. So um, this is a, a real dog town.